All right, so today's project that I'm gonna tackle is uh, removing my bathtub here, corner bathtub, don't use it. It's just taking up space, so I want it out. I've already removed the overflow, and I've also removed the drain right there. Um, let's see here. This was an access panel that I created when I bought the house that the uh, handle had broken off the uh, faucet there and they had no access panel on the other side of this wall is the attic and there was nothing there no access at all to get to this so I had to create this little access panel and uh, it's come out handy but now it's no longer needed there's the plumbing that I'll be taking apart it's kind of a little bit of the work they did on the floor to put this on so that'll be the last thing that I deal with um, for now you see these pencil marks it's kind of why what I assume the uh, plan to the bathtub is all around the wall so I marked it and you know, that's the uh, guide I'm going to be using to cut along to remove this as far as I can tell or no this was put on before any of the floor went on the linoleum so I don't assume there's any attachment points on the bottom of the tub here it's all going to be flanged into the wall and probably screwed in so once I get that out I should be able to get it out easily I do not want to cut it cut up the bathtub I want to see if I can remove it in one piece maybe donate it someone that can use it so let's get started with that so here's a tool I'm going to be using today it's a Dremel oscillating tool I use this quite a bit I'm only going to be going in as deep as around here on the wall I don't want to do any more cutting than I have to so all I've got to do is just go past the sheetrock I'm going to follow my guideline and then hopefully everything should come out smooth. The cutting is not too bad. I like it. It worked out good. Now I've got to go ahead and remove the uh, trim that's on the floor on both sides. Then I can continue on.
Okay, so so far I've got everything removed and the edging has been trimmed back and lifted. I've already got the uh, lines inside disconnected, so now I'm just going to attempt to lift it out and pull it away. And that's it. Now I'm going to go ahead and prep it for bringing it downstairs. Okay, so I got the flooring all ready. I got it cleared out, got the corner done. And yesterday I ran the wiring. Then I came up with the stud, so this is all ready for my, for my wiring. The plumbing is capped over here and also the water lines. So now, this flooring, if you notice, had a subfloor on it. So I'm going, now that this is done in here, I'm going to go ahead and lay a new subfloor down to make this all even so when I put on the new tile floor. So let me do that. Let me do that now. Okay, so here's the uh, new subfloor, the top part of it laid down. Everything fit great. So now I'm just going to go ahead and tack it down. I'm going to tack it down with screws. And then I'm going to proceed to start cutting out the drywall here to finish off this wall installation. So I'll check back with you here in a few.
all set up in the bathroom and uh, I've set up a little TV so I could watch it right through the doorway once I'm in there so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get it going I've got it set for 60 minutes 30 minutes to uh, get up to temperature and then I stay in there for 30 minutes the temperature is at 135, so I'm going to start it. There it is. Here's the little exterior lights. Those are nice. And then the reading lights 
are inside. So you can see there. Turn it off. Turn it on. Then I've got a little remote right here. And I can change the different colors. There's red. Green, blue, yellow, of course white, or like violet I guess that is, orange, like an aqua blue, that's a white, that's a blue, and that's a white. And I guess you can adjust the brightness of it. So anyway, once it gets up to temperature, I'll get some shots of it from inside. And we'll see what we get from there. Temperature's still coming up, but I figure I'd go inside and give you a little tour on the inside. I got my light color of, of choice. It's kind of like a red. There are the speakers. Hopefully they show, show up on the camera. Here's the inside panel. Also picked up a little timer, mechanical timer. So I can set the, set the time to come out when I want. There are four panels there. As you can see, I can see the TV pretty, pretty well from here. I'm not sure when I'm going to watch this. I don't want to get in trouble with YouTube, so. All right, so I just started my session. It's going to be a hot one. So I'm currently at 120 degrees, and my 30-minute session is now going to begin. I have my timer all set. So let the sweating begin. Temperature is already at 129 and I've been in here about 11 minutes. I'm already sweating pretty good. Get into my eyes. I have to towel off here in a second. But it's it's a good treatment. Good therapy. See you back in a few. 133 degrees. With 12 minutes remaining. So I've been in for about 17 minutes and I'm starting to really, really sweat. I'm gripping. It's getting into my eyes. See you in a bit. Okay, so I only got a minute left and I've been at 138 degrees. I'm really, really sweaty. It's been a good session. Now, this will auto shut off once that timer reaches zero. Anyway, thank you for coming along and enjoying my little uh, fun here on the uh, sauna. Later. Because I don't expect anything. Because 
because anything is possible. I can be hopeful out here, even in failure. Because I know if I just go out there around that tree, it might be different something. Might be different something I do. Might make a difference.